Welcome to an introduction to direct material variances. What's in this lecture? This lecture will review the reasoning behind direct material variances, show you how to compute the price and usage variance, and then guide you through a series of easy and then hard problems calculating and interpreting them for you. This lecture is based on the comprehension of the first webinar in this series and then prepares you for the next one, which will be direct labor variances. We're going to show you the standards for direct materials, how to compute the two variances, how to interpret them, and then we'll do some comprehension testing to be sure you have a solid understanding. Direct material variances contain two pieces, the quantity and the price. Here are some examples. Four pounds of the ingredient at $4.15 per pound. Four pounds is the quantity and $4.15 is the price per pound we expect in the standard. Seven feet at 20 cents per foot. 140 ounces at two cents per ounce. Each of the standards has a quantity and a price element. We can be off from the standard by buying it at a different price or by using the wrong amount or both. We're going to study the material price variance and the material usage variance. Some books call the material usage variance the material quantity variance. They're interchangeable. We're going to obtain these variances by comparing what the standard permits to what actually happened. So what did we buy? How much did we use? We're going to compare to the standard. And the differences, we're going to assign a label of favorable or unfavorable. We're not going to use pluses and minuses. The absolute value will be given a favorable or unfavorable tag, descriptive tag. So let's think. Here we have a standard, four feet of wire for every unit we produce, and we want to pay $1.20 per foot. But during the period we used four and a half feet of wire per unit produced, and we paid $1.18. So was the price favorable or unfavorable? Was the usage favorable or unfavorable? We should have used four feet of wire. We actually used four and a half feet of wire. We used too much. Unfavorable. We should have paid a dollar twenty. We paid a dollar eighteen. We paid less. That's favorable. All right, you try this now. Quantity variance or usage variance, favorable or unfavorable, and price variance, favorable or unfavorable. How'd you do? To get them, they we're unfavorable in the usage variance because we used more than allowed, and but the rate was less than allowed. Are these two related? Could it possibly be that you used a little bit too much because you paid a little bit less, so perhaps the quality of the materials was a little less than the standard specified, and so there was some waste that wasn't predicted in the standard? Who knows? You'd have to ask the production manager, but it's a possibility. Let's keep going. Now I've added some words to the problem so that now you have to search for the data you need. That makes it a little bit more difficult. The skeleton that I showed you before, you just had the data that you needed. But now we have a little more meat on the bones. A product has a standard cost for material of four pounds at $4.15 per pound. If a particular month produced 2,000 units and spent 46,200 on 11,000 pounds, and used 7,900 pounds, what's their price variance, favorable or unfavorable? Now notice here that the pounds used and the pounds purchased were not the same. Why? Because some of them could still be in inventory. Some of the pounds you bought might still be in inventory. 
we isolate the price variance based on what you bought, but we isolate the usage variance based on what you used. So we will use both of those for the different variances. So let's see, what do you think? Was the price variance favorable or unfavorable? Well, we need the actual price to compare to the 415 standard, right? Where is it? It's not given, but you're given enough data to solve for it. You know how much you spent on those 11,000 pounds, so you can then solve for what it cost per pound, $4.20. And so now you can immediately see that you paid more than the standard, so that would be unfavorable.